how to make the Minecraft client look a little bit more about you. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. You may have seen Minecraft clients that are heavily modded that have a really nice splash screen or menu screen. That's a screen that says single player, multiplayer, settings, you know, quit, that thing that has a really nice background that's specifically for whatever you're playing. The thing that comes to mind for me is, of course, Sky Factory 3, which has its own background image. And this is actually pretty amazing and cool to make with a very own mod. So let's jump in. So here are the two mods that you need to make sure that you have installed. The custom main menu mod and the resource loader mod. I'm going to go ahead. I did this in Curse just because I find it so easy to use. And once installed, it looks just like this inside of Minecraft. And you'll see this little refresh button. And that is because you can refresh everything that you're doing so that as you work, you will be able to get uh, a nice quick view of what is going on. So back over on Curse, the easiest way to get to uh, your config fo folder is to get to the, it's just go open folder. And here you are. You will want to make a folder called resources. I've already created it here. Uh, and this config area, go into custom main menu and then custom main menu.json. Uh, I use a uh, service called Sublime Text to, to read this. Don't worry, you do not need to know how to code in order to do this. You just need to know basically how to copy and paste and uh, just type a little bit. Uh, you can also use services like Notepad++ Notepad++ in order to do this. So the first thing uh, is also bring in your assets. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the custom main menu. We're right here. If we go back a few folders, we'll go to our resources and paste your resources in here inside of a folder. I've named my folder OMG craft. You can see that I have a background and a logo and some splash text. Welcome waffles the cat, Charlie the dog. Leave a big old like and don't forget to subscribe. You're my text so let's first add the uh, the OMG craft logo and this is the title area we have the image and we're going to change this to just be the folder that it is uh, saved in so this is OMG uh, craft there we go I can uh, type I swear and this is also OMG craft dot jpeg now, for all of these, uh, you can go ahead, by the way, once you've done that, go ahead and hit refresh. Actually, we'll have to hit save over here. So file, save. There you go. And then hit refresh. Control R. And you can see that it has loaded in the OMG Craft logo, uh, but it's probably not the size that we want. So uh, after playing around with this uh, for a little bit, I do know that uh, position 15 works best right here. Width uh, 275 works best and height 75. Also, I can add a new uh, area right here and that will be image width and image height. Let me go ahead and copy that over here so I don't have to type all of it. There you go, image width, image height. Go ahead and hit save and go over here and refresh and there we go so much better so let's jump back over into our uh json file and let's scroll all the way down and you can see this panorama that is the background that we will be using well there is a different argument that it will allow us to change this from the default sort of spinning background into just a static image and that is what we want so we're going to change this this is by the way under the other tab to just background and you can see that it's auto uh completing for us so we're just going to change that to background this is uh the syntax is images when it's over it's panorama but it's just image whenever it's a background and we're going to change this to omg craft folder and the background is, as you would expect, 
background.png. Now we don't need any of this stuff right here, but before we get rid of it, we can change one of these to mode, and we're gonna change that mode to fill. Fill. Oh, and that needs to be in quotes. There we go. And we can delete these because we don't need it to animate, blur, or gradate. So once we've done that, go ahead and hit save. Let's jump back over, see what it did. Oh, oh my gosh, I left a comma. I left a freaking comma right there. If I hit save, uh, you can see that it has an error loading it, but I left this stupid comma right there. Save, and then it will reload it just fine. So without that comma there, it will load in the background. But you can see, vote for net neutrality. Well, I don't really love that so much. It changes all the time. Uh, let's get the text splashes that uh, we did. And all that is is this text right here. And instead of Minecraft, we're going to have this say OM OMG craft. And this is our splashes. Uh, and that's just, it's just spelled like splashes. There we go. Save. And if you're ever confused about this, you can go back into your folder. You can see that this is named splashes.txt. That's what we need to name this right here. So we're going to hit save and refresh. And it says, welcome. Uh, leave a big old like. Waffles the cat. Where's Charlie the dog? Don't forget to subscribe. Charlie the dog. It is perfect. So with just a little bit of editing, we have made a fantastic Minecraft launcher. The main mod author on this is Lumen. Big thanks to you for creating this. I would definitely suggest checking the link below to go to the Curse Forge uh, page where there's documentation there, there's examples, there's config files that you can use and copy and paste and, and try to edit yourself to get the desired look and feel. This is a very, very powerful but yet simple mod, so I definitely suggest that you check out the link below to find out more. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And make sure that you, of course, subscribe. For Waffles the Cat and Charlie the Dog, I'll see you next time on OMG Craft.